Esau's game, man. He's been doing that, man. Okay? He's been doing that, man. Okay? So now the most is gonna have it to where he's gonna get, he's getting into full throttle, man. He's getting to full speed, you know? He's getting into high gear now, man. So Alright. So So you're seeing only you got you got Jake seeing all of these things happening, but they ain't perceiving that, man. They don't understand that. Okay? So it says they um it said, go and tell these people. Right, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. So you wasn't going to perceive all, that all of those things are spoken about within the scriptures, man. You wasn't going to see that the, the civil unrest that's happening out there all over the world. You know, got, you got Aesop going absolutely nuts, man. All right, you ain't going to perceive, you're only going to put two, two and two together to go to the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter and the 12th verse, right, and seeing that Esau really is acting on the fact that he has a little time, man. The Mosai has set up his bounds, okay, he's reaching those bounds. And he's going absolutely crazy because as spoken about within the book of Job, um, what is it? The book of Job, the 20th chapter, right? When he's about to fill his belly, he shall be in stress, meaning to say he was going to be in difficulties, man. All right? He was going to have a difficult time trying to achieve that so-called new world order, right? Trying to put forth that new world order out with his RFID chip. And he's the top dog on the earth and he's obtained the blessing by way of the sword. Okay? But he's in difficulties right now because why? Because you got the you got the most size Joker card that he's put forth on the table, and that Joker card is the man of the Lord, man. He with his Esau's going full high gear. We're going full high gear, man. Okay. You got it through the spirit, the most side. We got it to where through the spirit. Yeah, how about Shimmy outside? This world's going out heavy, man. All right. And people are waking up to the fact that this deep, you know, Esau, Esau is the deceiver, man. They're waking up to that fact, man. Okay. And why? And that goes back onto prophecy with the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter, I believe it is. It says, Come down and sit in the dust of virgin door of Babylon. Okay? Right? Let that nakedness be shown. Meaning to say, all of that shame in pointing the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans into that hardcore captivity. All right? Really trying to enslave the whole world now. Okay? Trying to pull forth, uh, 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 setting up, you know, ISIS and ISU and, and everybody's finding out all of these different uh, 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 skirmishes that are happening all over the world. All goes back onto Esau, man. It's all been set up by the CIA. Everybody's finding that out, man. Okay, how they always finding out some ID? You know, dude, dude, dude will blow up uh, uh, this, that, and the third, all right? And he will leave some ID card, man. Why? Right? Because that's all black. It's, it's, uh, you can you see this in hey, the, really them different directors you got in the movies, man. That that issue really set them forth in directing those um uh, uh what we know as false flags, man. They should use them as the guy directors of the false flags. So them, you know, the so-called Jews that they got doing that, man. They're whack, man. Okay, everybody is seeing that, but really it's the spirit, the most side that's having it to where, you know, you got eye people with a so-called sharp eye. You know, they're watching all of these uh, 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 false flags. And they're just looking at all the evidence and they're saying, wait, hold on a minute. That smells hella fishy, man. Okay. Now it's like every time they have a false flag, everybody's seeing that, look, that ain't, you know, that just, that just doesn't happen, man. All right. And ultimately that's because the most side has got that spirit of what? Of that, the, the nakedness of Esau being shown, man, that shame. Okay, in trying to in, in trying to obtain the, the you know the, the the birthright, which is the control of the whole earth, man. Because when you go to the birthright, the Lord said, "Look, you, uh, you just, everybody just gonna serve Jacob, man." Okay, but see, Esau's trying to get that now by using the sword. All right, just to you know, just to give you a rough idea, really, you gotta get into the story, man. You really gotta go into the book of Genesis, the 27th chapter, and really understand what was going on at that time. You start with Genesis, the 25th chapter, and you read Genesis, the 20, 27th chapter, then you get the understanding of what was going on at the time. All right, so this is the book of Isaiah 6 and 9. It says, and He said, Go and tell his people, Hear ye indeed, but, but um, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Okay, so the most side, you know, basically telling you exactly what's happening right now, but really that was dealing with the time back then. But that's what was hap that's what's happening right now. You see it, but you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Like, you hear it, you don't, but you hear it, but you don't want to understand it. You see it, but you don't want to perceive it. Okay, so this is what the Lord said make the heart of these people fat, right? Make their ears heavy and shut up their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed, man. Right? Okay, so if they was gonna do all of these things and understand and, and you know take heed to the word of the most high, they was gonna be healed from what? Going back onto the curses that has befallen them within the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, all right, and the 50, um, 58th verse starting first and foremost, these long six and on so on and so forth, they was gonna be healed from that. But how are they gonna be healed from that? Lord, Lord, Lord said it to where when the number that the number was reached, when the elect was sealed, right, when the word was gonna go through the four corners of the earth and the most is using the internet, right? as the medium to which this word is going to go out throughout the four corners of the earth, right? 
that's when he's going to bring this thing down, man. Okay, that's why the scripture says, then convert and be healed, man. All right, now let's take a look at the book of Romans, the uh, 11th chapter on the 7th verse, right quick. Romans 11 and 7, what then? Israel, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, okay, and really all Israel dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth. Because Jake's all over the place, man. Okay, why? Because you had, um, well, starting first and foremost, we are uh, all of the different captivities that we were under, man. Okay, under the Assyrians, okay, you had it to where, who was it, uh, Tiglath Pilazar III, and then really, uh, 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 uh Shalman uh, was Shalman you know, Tiglath Pilazar then he came, he came in, all right, and you know, he offset certain things that was happening within really predominantly, uh, Samaria, which was the, uh, the Northern Kingdom, the Latin speaking tribes, all right, but really his son, Shalman the V, that was the oldest son, Shalman the V, he was the one that really besieged Jerusalem, and Sargon the second, He's the one that took down Jerusalem. I believe he, he he didn't really like his brother or something like that. He thought his brother was weak in comparison to his father, man. All right, because when when, when Solomon the fifth came in, everybody was up right, man. Because you know, uh, 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 Tiglath Pileser had had all of these different nations in subjection, and they saw his weak son come up and rise up into the throne. And is at the time of his death, they said, "No fuck this, man. We ain't dealing with this guy. We ain't dealing with these Assyrians anymore, man." All right. And his brother felt the same way. He brother, his brother felt like Solomon was weak, man. So what did he do? He usurped him, man. All right, so he came into that throne now. Now he put all kind of grievous hell upon them, uh, 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 upon Jerusalem, man. Okay? He put all kind of, not Jerusalem, Salaki, on, um, on Samaria, man. He put all kind of hell upon it, man. Okay, and and that's when the first uh, uh, tactical uh, destruction of the uh, of of the people in the Mosque like, took place. Because what did they do? They took them out there into Syria. Okay, and then what did they do? They dispersed the families, man. Right, because all all of all, all that we are as a people, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, start first and first and foremost with, with at home, man. And that, that's what Esau knows. Esau knows that, and that's why he's broken down the family structure right down to the mother and the father, man. He's broke down the society, society social structure of the black, uh, with the, uh, of the uh, uh, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans by dividing the family structure, man. All right. Now you got into where you got all kind of chaos, you know, happening out there, and you know, they, you know, they're trying to, you know, but Esau knows that, man. Okay, so when the Assyrians, they when they was in power, they done deported all of the all of the uh, 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 so, you know um, all of the um, all of the house uh, you know all of the house of uh, Ephraim, if you will, right? And that's spoken about within. Um, ah, let's get it in the book of Hosea eight and eight. That's the best way. That's the best one to look at it. Now, really, that applies to all of Israel. Um, it applied to all of Israel, but back then when Hosea wrote this, this applied to the um, to the Northern Kingdom, the Latin speaking tribes. All right. So let's see that within the book of Hosea, the eighth chapter and the eighth verse, right quick. Okay, try to remember all of these different points I'm touching. Bear with me, bear with me. Come on. Yeah, here we go. All right, so this is the book of Hosea, the the eighth chapter. I believe it's in the eighth verse. Yep, uh, Hosea eight and eight. It says Israel, which is the um, really that was talking about, like I said, the uh, the northern speaking tribes, man. Right, brother, more the uh, the no, the north, the north, was it the northern kingdom? All right, the Latin speaking tribes. Okay, dealing with uh, 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 you know uh, um, you know Zebulon, Ephraim, Gad, Naphtali, Reuben, Asher. Right, all of the, all 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 of the so-called Latin speaking tribes you have right right now. Okay, that was dealing with the house of Israel, man. You had the house of Judah, which was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and they were out there. Within the land of Jerusalem, man. Within the land of Judah. Okay. So it says there, Israel is swallowed up now, right? They are among the Gentiles. You're right there. Yeah. Do you believe in the scriptures? Yes, I do, man. Yeah. Oh, do you, do you believe the Mosai is gonna come back and save? You say, you know, you believe in the scriptures. You know, we're in the end times, right? Yeah. 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 Right. So we're in the end times. What's the proof that we're in the end times? Yeah. That's the question. What's the proof? What's the proof that we're in the end What's times? What's the proof? Yeah. What's the, it's a, it's been foreseen. It's been foreseen. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's you know that's all, that's okay answer because why? When you go to Book of Mark, thirteenth chapter, mm -hmm. it says in the last days you're gonna have kingdom coming up against exactly. kingdom. All right. So you got the uh, Americans, the United States, they out there the within walls, the Black Sea. Okay. We are in the end time. And they're trying to start off the World it's War coming. Three with it's Russia. Coming. Okay. Coming. And Russia is trying to build up this old Soviet Union back up again with Iran. Right and so on and so forth. So we're in that end times in that facet. You've but, been in prison, but, 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 you've been in jail, huh? Oh, yeah. 
No, no, I ain't been. I, I well, I'm, I'm, I'm prisoner to you know to the Lord, but I ain't. I, no, personally, I haven't been in no jail. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. But I'm a prisoner to the Lord, but I ain't. You know, I ain't been in no jail. But you know, I was gonna ask you. So, if all of this destruction is gonna come and take place, who is the Lord gonna save? Yeah, no. Save him, what believe in His name. Well, that's believe. well, that's incorrect. In, in oh, that's true in part. All right, but whoever well, believe in me should never be sat in darkness. Right, right, but, right, but, can that apply to anybody in the world? Well, I should not believe, no, because you don't believe in it. Oh, right, okay, no. right, well, that's, that's, a, that's a roundabout right answer, because only the Israelites can believe in the Lord. Yeah. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior. Well, I believe yeah, he that, gave his life. Well, well, that, well that's, that's a historical account. doesn't mean to say that you're going to obtain mercy. If if Caesar if you I'm can believe you can you can believe that Caesar uh, 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 rode a, a unicorn with wings all you like, okay? It doesn't mean to say that the Maul side is gonna come back and save you. Meaning to say that's just that's, that's, that's just history. Everybody. That's just history. He didn't come to save everybody. I, I believe in Jesus Christ Almighty. Yeah, but he didn't, he didn't come to save everybody. The scripture say says otherwise. The scripture says he came to save the the the, the, uh, uh, the Israelites, and more specifically yeah, to the Israelites, true, yeah. the elect within Israel. Right. Okay. Just because I'm not a Jew, I don't mean that. Ah, no, I never said. I never said. I, I never said. I said. I said. I never said Jew. Judah pertains to Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right. Okay, because you had the Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom going back onto what after after King Solomon well, anyway, was in power. All, all right, right. King Solomon, the son of King David, when he was in power, right. He went off and he was serving other gods, man. Because his women, he had a thousand women, and then women were saying, "Look, build us this temple to 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 uh, to this to our god." And King Solomon did that. And the most side, the punishment the Lord did was, He said, "Your sons." Is he the son of David. Huh? The son of David, King Solomon, yeah. right? Yeah. He said, "He uh, 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 well, he said, uh, well, the Lord said, look, you done all of this. Okay, this is what this is what's going before you. When you die, right, your son, right." Uh, 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 your, your sons, your two sons, is gonna split the kingdom, man. So you had Jeroboam and Roboam. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So one had the northern kingdom and one had the southern kingdom. Okay. So you had the kingdom of Israel uh, and the kingdom of Judah. Right. right. Now this is where I stopped off just a second before you came, which goes to show you everything spiritual. So you had the kingdom of Israel. Now Israel, they never, there was never an account, if I remember correctly, that they when they was righteous. So you had the Assyrians come up. And they took down the Israelites. It's not the Israelites, rather more, but the house of Israel. Right. 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 Now, when they went over into Assyria, right, to right. serve the Assyrian captivity, they said, after a period of time, they said, look, we're done, we're done with this. Okay? And they went over out there into the Americas. That's that account was within the book of uh, Second Ezra. So all of them did all of the uh, all of the tri all of the house of Israel, uh, that being Zebulon, Ephraim, Gad, right, Asher, Issachar, and so on and so forth. Those are all out. They were all out there within the Americas before uh, uh, before the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi got there. All right. Now as for Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, okay, you had it to where uh, 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 the Babylonians came up against them. Okay. Now after the Babylonians, you had the Medio Persian Empire. Okay, yeah. and then after that you had the Romans, right? Yeah. Now when the Romans came into power around about 70 AD, you had it to where, you know, they got, the Jerusalem got ransacked, man. Yeah. So they yeah. fled out there into yeah. the mountains, and for a period, and after a period, uh, then you had the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, oh, did Romans worship them? Where, where, Romans, ro ro Romans worshipped their own gods, man. What idols? We own idols, didn't they? They worshipped idols. And their, and their ancestors and so forth and so on. Well, really, they said, really, what, bro, when you go back into, uh, who was it, Antiochus, I believe he, he um, if I remember my history correctly, he set himself up as a god. Yeah. Right? So I believe Jupiter goes back onto himself. He said, yeah. look, I'm, not, I'm Jupiter. Right? Now worship me. Okay, but the point I was making is, after all of that history done played out, you had a period of time when, of a thousand years, when the Negroes, right, which was the house of Judah, house of Benjamin, Right and, and and the Levites, they were in power around, up right up until the 1600s, right within places like uh, within Europe. Yeah. All right, it's king so king or in England, in England, I believe the word Saxons goes back onto Isaac's sons. Yeah. I didn't know. That. Right, and I believe the word England goes back onto the land of angels. Yeah. Uh, if some, if I remember correctly, and that goes back onto who the the, the yeah. people of the Most High, man. Yeah. That makes sense. Right. Right. Now, what does that go to prove? That goes to prove that you've been deceived, man. You've been lied to because they, we're going back onto the 14, 1500s, right? And, and the people that were in power were people of color. 
okay? Dealing with King King Henry the Eighth, right? That was a man of color. King James. That was a man. That was a man of color, man. Where you black? Huh? Where you African? No, no. He was. He was. He was just a. He was a Negro, man. Yeah, man. Well, I've just told you the history. I've just told you the history. That's why you had. To that's why you had what was known as the Black Death. That was that's what that's why you had a period of the time that was known as the Renaissance because it was the rebirth of the ancient Roman Empire, which is when the people of no color, the so-called white people, came back into power. That's why it was known as a Renaissance. Never knew that. So, all right. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you go out there into Russia, you still got those images. They still got the pictures. Uh, they still got the royal images and all of that. They've still, right. they've still got the icons. Cause when, yeah, know, when, yeah. when you're in power, you're gonna paint pictures, right? Yeah. Right now, you can only, hey, when you, when, when the so-called white people came into power, you can only whitewash as much images as you, exactly. as you can touch. Right. Here's another proof of that. When you go into different museums out there within uh, London, right. okay, you always have a defacing of the images, predominantly of the nose. Yeah. Why? Because those people that had those noses, right? Those were people like, um, they were um, like the Egyptians. They will have you believe that the Egyptians were were, uh, uh, were white people. But hold on a minute. I thought Moses, Moses, was it wasn't Moses mistaken for a, 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 an Egyptian? I think so. In Bible, he yeah. wasn't mistaken for an Egyptian. Then what does that mean about Moses? What? That means he was black. Shakespeare was a black man. <laughs> Yeah. He was during at that time. That, that's who was in power. Must have been allowed in the pub, would it? No, no, no. But that's 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 who was in power. That's who was in power. The vast majority of the people that were there were people of color. Okay. And that's why you had it. Sorry. History's right. You got history, and you've got his story. Right. So. So you're see you're seeing his story. Be dealing with the so-called white man, okay? You're seeing his story, and you're being mistaken to believe that's history. <laughs> that's not history. That's his story. Right. And that goes on to the scriptures, because the scriptures, right. that's what the scriptures say. The scriptures say, he covereth the faces of the judges. <laughs> Meaning to say, when, it, when he came into power, he was going to whitewash all of them images. Now, here's the point I was, I, I didn't get to finish making. Now, hold on a minute. Now, when you get it, you had all of these kings and rulers, right, within Europe during the period of the 1600s. Are you telling me that they only made it, they only had intercourse with black women? No, no, no. They would have they had sex with all of them different women there. Yeah, so. What are their children going to look like? Okay. And what are their children going to look like? Why? So, the man, uh, 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 um, uh, Tom Jones, when they say he's a he's black, black man, he's black. I know he's black. white, he's white on the skin, yeah, he's black, though. but he's, you can see black he's features black. Yeah, he's black. Yeah, because his descendants black. go I back to, yeah. his descendants go back to, right. you see, but that's, so, that's what I, happens with time, I, I, I know, I know right, and that goes back onto the point you was making, yeah, they believe, and they could look like a different color right. on the outside of it, but when you trace their lineage back to be, to be saved, black. No, 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 that's not what the scripture says, that's not what the scripture says, the scripture says Esau, all right, the brother of Jacob was going to be born red, red and hairy, that's what, that's what the scripture says, the scripture says Esau was going to be born red and hairy, thank you very much, I appreciate that, all right, the scripture says Esau was going to be born red and hairy, so they are a group of people that are upon the face of the planet that are red and hairy. Now, who are those people? Indians. No. The Indians are, 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 are red and hairy. No, red people are Indians. They're not, they're not red, they're brown. Indians? They're brown. They're in Indian. They're not red. They're brown. They're brown. They're brown people. They're, they're all, there is one group. Of, there is one group of red people up on the face of the planet. Okay, that's the so-called white people because their blood shows forth pink. Exactly. Okay. The Indians are a shade of brown. But you got one group of people that are more closely associated with red than the other people because when they go angry, they are actually quite literally red. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. But but we just proved through the history 
all right? We just proved from the history that you was gonna have some people that looked bred and hairy, but their descendants goes back to being Israelites. That's what the scripture talks about, the wheat and the tares. That's amazing, so I did not have a clue. Well, I, hey, but that's, I, that goes back into hey, but that goes back onto these. Open my eyes, man. <laughs> right, oh, right. But that goes back onto these churches. They ain't teaching the people the right thing, man. Right? That only Israel can be saved. All right. But it doesn't mean to say that's just exclusive. Because you're gonna have people that look like Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. But they ain't Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. The, the man Herod. All right. The Herodians. Hey, yeah, yeah. The Herodian lines look like the Israelites. They see what just Christ when they would. Yeah, he was. A, he was yeah, he was. A, he was. A, he was. A, he was in the time. He was around about the time uh, uh, when the Lord came on the scene. He looked like a man of color, but he wasn't. That's why, really, when you go into the parable of the wheat and the tares, he there was. He was. That was. Uh, that was. That was, um, that was him being cursed out. He was dealing with the Herodians, man. They were trying to curse out the Herodians because the Herodians were actually Edomites, which is the red people. But because they had slept with the black woman, they had. Colors, they they look like they was uh, uh, people of color, man. See, uh, so it swings both ways, man. Yeah. It swings yeah. both it, ways. It's all it's all about genes, not about genes. It, okay, oh, exactly, exactly. It's a gene pool. Right now, let's prove that within the scriptures, because we've said all of that. It's all about a gene pool. That's yeah. good. Gene That's good. Pool. It's a good point. But that that that, 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 does, but that does mean that you could be an Israel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I but you, know. I'll say this: you better hope you are, okay? Because if you're not an Israelite. You are not going to obtain no mercy. Why? Why is that? Because that's what the scripture says. Ah, well, that's what the scripture if says. If, 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 if it's not born, it's not my fault when I've been born. But that's what the scripture says. That's what. Fault, it, you've been born. That's what they, you hey, hey, that's what the scripture says. We'll see that in the scriptures. Hold on. We'll see that in the I, scriptures. I, I, we'll see that in the scriptures. I cannot be judged from from my own gene pool, can I? Well, apparently you can. That's what the Bible says. Because so the scripture says, the scripture says, it says this.